Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. The majority of boas in my collection are quite mellow in temperament and easy to handle. In fact, some of them are actually puppy dog tame. That being said, I do have a handful of boas that pose a challenge to be handled. Some of them have even drawn blood in the past. So over the years, I've learned to read their behavior in order to prevent from being bitten by them uh, when I have to handle them. So I thought it would be interesting to get them out and show you some of the signs I look for uh, to hopefully avoid being bitten by a boa that's nervous or aggressive. Um, this is going to be unscripted, of course, so we'll have, just have to see what happens. It should be pretty fun. Um, that being said, if you like this video, please subscribe to the Brian Boas YouTube channel for more videos on all aspects of keeping and breeding boas in captivity. So this first animal is possibly the most aggressive boa in my whole collection. She's my 2012 Guiana BCC female. Um, she's about close to seven feet, six or seven feet. She's one of my larger boas. And I actually got the worst bite that I've ever gotten from any animal from her a few years ago. It's more like being punched with a wide open mouth full of teeth. So she can be like a chainsaw on steroids. Um, that being said, she's calmed down somewhat in the last few years and I'm able to read her signals a little bit better. So when she tenses up her body, kind of like she's doing now, and kind of throws spasms, I know that I'm in the danger zone and I have to get her and myself to safety. So that being said, I'm going to put her back before I lose some blood here. I think she's shown herself long enough. So she's back to the safety of her cage now. And interestingly, I have two litters that I've gotten from her. Her um, boyfriend, you know, the father of the litters is not aggressive like she is. And the babies so far haven't been aggressive. So it might just be a individual difference in that one female. So the next animal is my 2013 female Honduran Firebelly Boa. You can see I'm giving her some distance because she's currently in shed on top of being somewhat uh, of an aggressive animal. So I don't want to get bitten here. But um, this girl um, is really more hissy than bitey. She was just hissing, but it looks like she's calmed down a bit. Um, I think I've been bitten by her a couple times, but usually she just hisses at me. She doesn't strike as much. Um, She's actually one of my most beautiful boas with her beautiful orange belly. Um, interestingly, I had a litter from her a couple years ago and I kept three of the babies as holdbacks. Two of them are quite calm and they don't hiss, but then one of them hisses just like she does. So it looks like that that one might have um, inherited her personality. So you can see one thing that you always want to do with an unpredictable animal is to keep the head at arm's distance. Okay, because if you're going to take a bite, it's a lot better to take it to the hand or arm than to the face. So I think I'm going to put her back um, before I push my luck too far. So this next animal, I didn't consider to be aggressive until ironically a few weeks ago, I was filming a video on boa constrictor behavior and temperament. And I went to grab a true red tail to show that they're typically pretty mellow and you know, non bitey animals. And what does she do? She bites me and then she strikes at me. So not quite sure what happened there. Um, just thought maybe we'd see if it was the camera that brings out the worst in her. But so far she's doing a little bit better. So this is a 2014 true red tail boa, a Suriname red tail. So she's about six years old. Another thing you'll notice is her small size. She's maybe four feet long. And what's unusual about this animal is I got her as a baby. She was the normal size. I fed her on the same feeding regimen as my other boas about every two weeks. In fact, with her, I'm still feeding her every other week because she's so small, but she really hasn't grown that big. So she just might be um, kind of a dwarf variant or you know, on the smaller end of the size scale. She actually would be ready to breed next year, just based on her age, because she'll be like seven years old. 
So I'll have to see. I may breed her next year, or I might just uh, give her another year to maybe hopefully get a little bit bigger. This is a Suriname True Red Hellboa. So this next animal is a boa constrictor, boa constrictor saboge, the Pearl Island boa. This is a seven-year-old female. She was born in 2013. Um, had a litter from her last year for the first time. And so Pearl Island boas are known for being a little flighty and a little more on the aggressive side. Um, I don't think I've ever actually drawn or been bitten by this girl. She has struck out at me several times and I just was lucky and managed to pull my hand away. But she's somewhat more nervous. I, my other pair of um, saboge boas are calmer and more handleable, but this girl just seems to be more on the nervous side. Very beautiful animal though. Cool head shape and beautiful patternless colors. Um, you can see the white on her sides. So if you're looking for a boa constrictor as a calm pet that you can take out and share with friends, boa constrictor saboge is probably not going to be the best choice for you. It's just more of a snake to just enjoy its, the beauty of its uh, unique uh, body shape and its cool behaviors. Some of my boas will start out hissy and aggressive as babies, but then they calm down as they get a little older. This is a 2016 uh, female Brazilian red tail boa that was bred by Vin Russo. And when I first got this animal, she was just super hissy. You know, she would hiss every time I went to the cage. She'd strike against the side of the tub. Um, I don't think she ever bit me, though. I always was really cautious around her. But she's actually calmed down quite a bit over the last year or so. Um, you know, as she's reaching or getting, you know, somewhat closer to maturity. So hopefully as an adult, she'll just be quite a bit more on the calm side. So I wanted to end with a type of boa that has a reputation for being a little bit hissy, but then it always calms down with time. And that's the Tarahumara Mountain Dwarf Boa. So these guys start out for the first six months or so, and they hiss quite a bit. And they actually strike kind of as a bluff. Although I don't know if I've ever actually been bitten by one of these animals. If I, and if I did get bitten, it wouldn't be a big deal since their you know, heads and their teeth are so small. But this guy is uh, a 2018 holdback. So he's about a year old now and you know, no, no biting, no, no hissing. Um, definitely calmed down over time. So this guy is from my high pink female. You can see he's got the beautiful pink coloration on his sides as my high pink female has. And I actually have the same pairing going on right now with my high pink female and my Rio Bravo male. So with any luck, I'll have another litter of full siblings to this guy on the ground sometime uh, this summer. Those were a few of my more aggressive boas. I actually feel pretty lucky to have done this shooting this video without losing any blood. And if you have an aggressive bow of your own, I recommend that you study its behavior and that you're aware of the signs it's going to give before it could potentially bite you or do anything aggressive. Um, as always, if you have any questions or comments, you can write them below or feel free to reach out to me. Thank you for your attention and enjoy your bowas.